Hello, hello, I'm glad to see you back on my channel. When I painted this look, I wasn't sure how to name it, so I posted a picture on my Instagram channel. And then I combined a few ideas which I received. So thank you for those who decided to help me name this creature. This now is called Mother Nature. And I'm starting with a circle around my eyes and then from the circle I'm taking uh, lines aside to both sides so it's kind of cre to create a wood structure. After painting with a regular brush I'm taking a rake brush and then um, painting lighter and darker parts as well. So on the lower part of my um, eye circle I'm painting lighter and also over my brow I'm painting lighter. Um, over my brow inside of the circle is going to be darker and then underneath my eyes on the cheek it's going to be darker i hope it's not too confusing but you'll see it in a second and then i'm adding um, additional structure with darker and lighter colors later on so um, with black color i'm uh, outlining kind of the the cracks in the wood and um, when it's darker like on the lower parts of um, of my cheek for example I'm making it a bit darker and wider side so you can see it better as well on um, under my brow on the area of the brow I'm also will will do it a bit darker and here I'm again working with the rake brush rake brush is perfect for making the structure because it has thinner um, thinner hair and it creates these thin nice lines so the same as I was going with the black lines I'm the same doing with white uh, just in lighter parts and after I finish that I'm, uh, I'm uh, making uh, my whole face a bit lighter um, it could be a foundation it could be uh, paint um, so just to make the wooden part stand out then I'm outlining it more with black and later with light color especially to show this three-dimensional look around the eye um, I'm adding later on some shadows and also uh, shadows going on the lower part of each breakage so at the um, at the area at the brow and the lower cheek and also on the opposite parts I'm adding a bit of lighter color which is soften uh, which softens a little bit uh, the hard lines by the brush and also with a darker one I'm going like in between the wood structure kind of going uh, along the way um, so it's kind of uh, more like giving it more dimension and also going around the whole shape to add a little bit of shadow so it's kind of casting the shadow over my face um, next I'm going uh, to the other eye and doing the same but also it's not going to be a bark uh, wood it's going to be just an eye with the same kind of three-dimensional look so with eyeshadows I'm repeating similar shape as on my other eye and also going to add some uh, breakages through my face but not as much shadow in there for this look I decided to use dark lenses from Pastel Dreams store and I quite like using dark lenses maybe because I've got blue eyes myself but also I think this will look uh, better with the darker looks and like especially for wood and nature um, so yes I think they match pretty well here with white paint I'm going over all of the uh, dark parts and that's going to uh, bring it out and make it more three-dimensional as well so you see I'm adding a little bit more highlights and a bit shadows but not as much as on the other side I decided not to paint lips and just add uh, the same way as I've added around the eyes. I just added a few cracks, so just didn't want to emphasize anymore because this patch on my um, left eye still it's quite striking, and the other one as well. So just yeah, just cracks on my lips. To finish off my look, I'll just add some leaves and a few flowers, and this will be it. I hope you like this look, please subscribe 
and share maybe this video with your friends or just for yourself to remember because this is a very nice technique of making 3d face and it's actually very easy and fast I'm also on Instagram as Ulyanka Arti and I post there a lot of videos and pictures, much more than I do post here. So I also invite you to check my Instagram account. This is all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!